Let our kids live. That is the message coming out of the city's west side this afternoon where community members are gathering at the Austin People's Action Center. They are speaking out against the ongoing violence in our city. WGN's Brona Tumulty is there right now. Brona, more funding announced today too to help reduce violence. Is that right? Absolutely. Five million dollars in funding to be exact. Things just wrapping up a short time ago and those we spoke with today, they all had one singular message when it comes to the senseless shootings that are happening across Chicago. Enough is enough. We don't want to be here talking about burying any babies. Parents holding back tears today, still trying to cope with the pain of losing a child. We're tired of burying our babies. We're tired of all the bloodshed. That's Cynthia Williams with Austin People's Action Center. There isn't any words to explain watching um, a mother or a father bury their three-year-old and their seven-year-old and their 17-year-old, 13-year-old. She and several other groups organizing the Let Our Kids Live event today, saying the shootings have to stop. Thank God we are still here today to make a difference for tomorrow. We're told 459 people were murdered in Cook County between the first of the year and this past Wednesday, a 42% increase on last year's numbers. Now county officials are stepping up. Today I'm announcing that we're putting new and significant dollars into combating gun violence directly on the streets of Chicago. That money, $5 million in funding, will be used to target violence in some of the city's hardest hit communities, helping boost the number of people served and increase resources, particularly on weekends. My brother gave his life for us to come together as one. Among those addressing the crowd, the brother of George Floyd, with this plea for the people of Chicago. The brothers in Chicago, they need to please stop killing each other, y'all. We need to stop. We need to come together. It's a bigger picture. We can't win killing each other. We cannot win like that. Now, one of the people you heard from there was Cynthia Williams with the Austin People's Action Center. One of the things she asked us to reiterate is they do have jobs here for those who are aged 16 to 24. She wants to keep that age group off the city's streets. If you want some more information about that, it can be found on our website under this story. Live on the West Side, Brona Tumulty, WGN News.